what are you thinking bestie she said as your head down on the table you unknowingly looked at her ah uh, i'm frustrated now you said unknowingly you are complicated his action speaks louder than words you are my best friend or his why are you taking his side of course yours i'm just saying it because sometimes you need to feel it have you ever felt that he doesn't love you no but still it can be possible that he cares for me because i am his responsibility the way he cares for you it didn't seems you are his responsibility only trust me he loves you so what if he didn't said those three words maybe he is shy shy <laughs> he's a mafia king the way he speaks and stare doesn't seems like he is shy it is so difficult for him to say i love you don't be sad i have a plan maybe he might confess you sit straight and your eyes sparkled and a smile appeared on your face tell me what is it give him divorce your smile dropped and you looked at her with straight face are you mad you are my best your enemy not for real i'm asking you to do a divorce prank on him if he loves you he will confess his feelings alia you forgot he is a mafia what if he gone mad or kill me or what if he doesn't love me ready to divorce me if he is ready so give him no other option because you can't hold someone to be in a relationship with you you give her a death clear chill i'm just joking he's never going to do that he loves you i'm sure he will beg you and also he will confess his feelings to alia said you enter in your house when all maids bow to and then your eyes landed to your husband who is sitting on couch and staring at you where were you uh, i was with my friend Jungkook nodded and he put your purse on the table and said, "You are home early today?" Jungkook in mind because I was missing you. Yeah, I don't have work so Did you eat? No, I didn't. Did you? He softly asked. Even though you already eat with your friend but you want to spend some good time with your husband so you denied No I didn't Let's have together He nodded and then you two went to dining area made serves you two are eating peacefully you two have your dinner you are about to go in your shared bedroom When Jungkook stopped you he came closer to you and took out the hanky from his pocket and wiped corner of your mouth and looked in your eyes deeply making your heart go crazy you both having intense eye contact when his gaze shifts to your lips he gulped while you are feeling thousands of butterflies dancing in your stomach sending shivers to your body and making your knees weak he came a little bit closer while you closed your eyes thinking he is going to kiss you but later on you didn't feel anything so you opened your eyes and see him running on stair while you dumbfounded you stomped your foot oh john jungkook you deadly said why are you like this 
It's been one year of your arranged marriage with the Mafia King. You are his mom's choice. Wyan's mom and his mom's were best friends. You always pounded to be married to him. Since you have seen him many times, you have a huge crush on him. You know he is a Mafia King. You are afraid of him in starting because you know he has an anger issue but he never showed it to you. He always cares for you. You can feel he loves you, but he never confessed it. You want him to confess that you decided to do a divorce prank on him to see his reaction. You went to your shared bedroom and changed to your nightwear and slowly laid beside him. Now both of you are back facing each other. John Jungkook, I'll make you confess your true feelings for me. You will beg me. Why this is so hard for you to confess? Huh? I'm your wife. Idiot, stupid bunny. What's wrong with you, John Jungkook? Oh, she must be thinking about me. That I'm a poet. No, no, no. She is my wife, and I'm deeply in love with her. You are a mafia king and everyone is scared of me. Before this marriage, I'm not afraid of anyone, but I don't know. When did I become like this and she become my weakness? She make my heart fluster every time I see her and started to lose my control. But I'm afraid to lose her and I don't want her to hate me. That's why I didn't try to do anything which make her uncomfortable. You both were thinking when you both turned your sides, which made you both face each other and make an eye contact between you two. There is an awkward silence between you two, but eye contact was intense. But then you broke it by covering yourself with blanket and covered your face. Well, Jungkook sighed. You are looking on fake divorce papers. Another side, you are on call with Alia. Are you sure this is going to work, Alia? Two hundred percent. I'll bet you he will confess you today. If this divorce thing gone wrong, Alia, then you will be dead for sure. You stopped when you turned. and see jungkook standing and looking at you i, I call you later clean hide the papers behind your back and smile nervously and slowly open the drawer and put them into it uh, when did you came just now when you were talking to your friend you are down think if he heard or not because if he heard your plan is going to be the end did, did you forget something yeah actually i came here to take my wallet i forgot in hurry but why are you behaving that i caught you doing something wrong wrong no i just doing my work Can you give me my wallet? Sure, why not? You quickly pick up from the side of the table and give it to him. And then he left. You sighed heavily. You were about to sit when he came back, making you flinch. Why an a low scream escaped from your mouth? Are you okay? Why you got scared? I wasn't expecting you. Did you forget something? Yeah, actually I'm going on a mission so I might be late. So please have your dinner on time, okay? Oh, okay. He left. I almost got red-handed. You shook your head. I want it right now. Okay boss I will arrange it but why you want that Did you forget 
I'm your boss. Just do what I said. Sorry, boss. Jungkook entered in home with blood on his t-shirt and his man Michael with him. Catch that. I want him alive. Yes, boss. We almost caught him today. I want his all information. Copy, boss. Listen, I asked something from you in the morning. Here it is. He handed it to him. But boss, it is dangerous. Chanko gave him a dead glare as he quickly lowered his gaze. You may leave now. I call you if I need something. Michael left. Jungkook straight went to his bedroom and you were sitting on bed with a suitcase while he looked at you and found his bros. Where are you going at this hour? He said standing in front of you while you looked up and gave him a serious expression and you get up and handed him an envelope. What is this Ryan? They was papers. Chunko became Chunkshook when he looked at the papers and his eyebrows joined and expression changed into fierce one. He looked at you with angry faith, which sent shivers to your body as you don't know what's coming next, but you still somehow gathered the courage. I made this decision after thinking a lot, Chunko. I know you are not happy in this relationship. That's why I decided to separate our ways. We both will be happy. And what made you think like that? I'm not happy with you. I know you don't say it, but it shows on your face. Who the hell are you to decide this? He said, coming closer to you making your step back i decided so you can find someone who loves you and i find who loves me and i can love him stuttering wise as you hella scared of his dark ops do you love someone else oh what if i say yes because you don't he chuckled and then he pulled out the gun and pointed at you, making your eyes frightened. And now you are scared to the death. You are cursing yourself for pulling such stupid prank on a mafia. Because you never imagined this also can happen with you. Jungkook, what are you doing? He hesitantly said. How dare you? What do you think? I will let you go that easily, huh? Jungkook, but you can't kill me. What I am. Serious face while his face comes dangerously close to yours. Mafia king. I can. People easily. And without mercy. How dare you to love someone else? Huh? He said while brushing his gun to your cheeks to chin. You close your eyes in fear and while your breath hitched and you spoke. It was a prank. I don't love someone else. These papers are fake. I did this because I wanted to know your feelings for me. Please don't kill me. You spilled your beans in one go because you are scared as he looked at you with straight face and then next what he did, press the trigger. You tightly shut your eyes due to fear and then you feel water on your face. You slowly opened your eyes as you felt water on your face. Can you see 
Jungkook laughing like a maniac. You frowned your brows and looked at him with confused expression. <laughs> Look at your face, he said while laughing. While you are breathing heavily, putting hand on your chest. You looked at him fist of expression as you already got to know that you got pranked by him. <laughs> I'm sorry, he said while laughing non-stop. Well, you gritted your teeth and made a face. Now your aura totally changed when he looked at you and stopped laughing. I'm sorry, I heard your conversation in the morning, so I pranked back on you. This is a water gun, he said while controlling his smile. This was a prank, you said while sarcastically chuckling while he just nodded. Run. John Jungkook, you shouted at your lungs out while he ran downstairs and you ran behind him. I- I'm sorry, it was a prank. You took my soul out for a second while chasing him and he is running for his life when he shouted Michael and all the maids and guards including Michael gathered in hall. They all are chuckling while seeing his rude boss scared of his wife. Michael save me, he said while hiding behind him. Boss, I already told you it could be dangerous. Why and why and no was was no that is your favorite one and expensive too he said as you picked up us you gave him a death clear Michael hold him tightly you said Ma'am how can I Jungkook chuckled while you grated your teeth and you turned about to go when suddenly you felt are in someone's arms as Jungkook picked you and you tried to protest but failed when he just smiled and take you upstairs to your shared bedroom. He gently laid you on bed when you tried to get up but he pushed you and hovered above you and pinned both of your hands on bed and stared deep in your eyes let me go but he shows to you by putting his fingers on your lips i love you i'm madly in love with you john Ryan. shivers ran down to your body when he said this in his husky voice you stared in his eyes after he kissed your forehead You closed your eyes as you felt hot lips touches your face. Do do you really love me? You asked, gathering all your courage. Do you need any proof? Saying that, he kissed you on your lips and after a while, he broke and stared in your eyes while your face became all red. But if I didn't know that divorce was a prank, you might have seen my dad's side, but you shouldn't. So don't you dare to do these things even as a prank. You don't know how much I love you. Can't never imagine to live without you. Even not in my dreams. I might before he could say further. You put your palm on his mouth and tears formed in your eyes. Don't say that. I'm sorry, you said as you are feeling guilty. He just smiled and again placed a soft kiss on your forehead. I love you. I love you so much. I love you too, my sweetheart. More than you can imagine. He kissed you passionately. The end. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel. Constructive criticism is accepted.
please don't spread hate because that affects very much so author imagination if you like it appreciate it if you don't like it press the dislike button